Hi, Tony here with iDesign Memories. Um, if you're like me and um, you've gone down this road of, of trying to find um, the perfect lighting setup or, or, or just lights in general, um, if you're like me, you've gotten kind of lost out there in the, in the weeds. There, there's so many options, uh, so many things that people will tell you. But the one thing to keep in mind is having good lights or lights of some sort is absolutely critical to, uh, to doing better videos and having more quality. Um, right now, and I'll show you my setup here in a second, uh, Aperture uh, I think comes up uh, in a lot, of, a lot of times when people are searching. Um, they make very good quality products from what I've seen. Um, and right now what I'm doing, I'm using two F7s, uh, Aperture F7s, uh, on a light stand. And you'll, you'll see that here in the, in the video clip. Um, you can dial in the color, um, um, high, you know, increase, decrease the, the amount of light that's being put out. Um, they've got little um, things that go on the front uh, diffusers uh, to diffuse the light just a little bit. Um, but the key is having some sort of light. Um, I'll, I'll show you just right quick what it looks like when these are turned off. Okay, this is with one of them on. And I believe I've got them on right now at, uh, let me check, 75%, I think. Yes, they both were at 75%. So obviously, this is what it looks like with no light. Um, now I've got a, a door off to my left. Uh, so there's some daylight coming in, giving just a little bit of separation there on the background. I've got a practical uh, sitting up here on this shelf behind me. Uh, but then this is, and then I've got a computer screen over here to my right, giving me just a little bit of light from that direction. Uh, then I've got these two Aperture F7s uh, on a stand um, at 75%. So again, we have, uh, we have the lighting set up. Um, another critical component that I haven't, or I hadn't really thought a lot about, but uh, was becoming a challenge uh, in my videos, and I didn't even necessarily understand why. Um, I come from uh, doing more photography. I've done a lot of video over the years, but it's mainly just been with um, consumer camcorders and family events and, and some things that I've done. Uh, but I hadn't really given a lot of thought um, to things where video is dramatically different from photography. Uh, in photography, I was always shooting in RAW, the RAW, RAW file format, so I could really go in post and if I had the color balance off a little bit or the exposure, I was really able to pull that out and save it. Um, Unless you're shooting in RAW, which if, uh, if for video, and if you're shooting in RAW for video, uh, that's, that's a very expensive endeavor to get the camera equipment that, that does that. Um, you're basically shooting uh, comparably uh, to photography just a JPEG. Uh, whatever you've done in the camera is pretty much baked in uh, to your final file. So getting proper exposure and getting proper color balance um, is just absolutely critical. So uh, Tom Antos uh, was one that uh, I, I really like his, uh, his information. I'll have his link uh, here in the bottom. But he uses it, a lot of other folks do, um, just a, a color checker. Um, so if you put that in your video prior to starting, and then, uh, even more importantly, you take your camera and you use this uh, gray card here uh, to set your white balance. Uh, with your current lighting setup. Absolutely amazed um, at the difference in the quality uh, of, of the videos that I'm shooting now. And when I go into post, um, other than just maybe creating some looks or, or you know working with contrast and things like that, I'm not trying to uh, wrestle with setting the exposure and, and, and trying to figure out what the color balance was supposed to be to get a good skin tone. So again, Recognizing lighting, if you don't have any kind of lighting and you're just trying to go with natural light, uh, your videos, uh, like mine did so much of the time, uh, unless you're in uh, daylight um, or you get lucky with some nice lighting indoors, uh, you just wind up with a lot of video footage that looks like mud. Um, and then the proper color balance, making sure that uh, you've got your exposure and your color balance perfectly set uh, before you shoot the video. So. Um, 
that went a little bit more into other things other than just these two lights um, and I'm currently still in the market for one big nice uh, light source uh, particularly when I do uh, weddings for the reception and things like that um, leaning towards the Aperture 120D uh, but it's so much more expensive than other things out there in the market uh, but so far I haven't found anything that appears to really compare uh, with, with that particular light so I may be going that direction um, but anyway uh, thanks so much for tuning in hope you got something out of this and again this is Tony with iDesign Memories have a great day